Hi guys, welcome to this course, OSX Application UI Design in Adobe Photoshop. So this course is focused towards those people who have done web app design and sort of want to transition over into a native OS design. This is something that's very important to understand that there are quite a few differences in the design process. But however, there's no reason why a web app designer could not go and design a operating system application whether it be Mac, Windows, Linux, iOS, Android, and so on and so forth. But there are a few tips that you can take away from this course to really help you with understanding the ins and outs of the operating system and also the technology that goes behind these applications to transition them from a web app to a native application. And this course will go into detail about some aspects of the development of these applications, but explain to the designer in clear, plain English what a hybrid application actually is and what that means for you as a designer. So the first thing to understand is that we need to do a little bit of research, so market research on existing applications, and also we need to do research on the operating system itself, look at the features, look at what it offers, and then we can take that information and transport it into our design. After that, we want to take a look at a bit of design inspiration. I'll show you a few good resources to take a look at to really get the creative juices flowing. Then after that, we want to take a look at designing the app icon. The app icon is very important because it gives the user a first impression of your application. The next thing we want to do is take a look at wireframing. Then we're gonna transition the wireframe over to the finished and polished UI. After that, we want to take a look at the system Chrome and integrating our design into the system Chrome. And finally, after that, we want to take a look at the annotations and adding those annotations in so that you can communicate with the developer and say exactly how the user should experience your user interface that you've designed. So thank you for watching me in this lesson and please join me in the next lesson where we'll take a look at bringing web technologies closer to the operating system.